Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Morning Prayer for Friday, July the 26th. It's the ninth week after Pentecost and week three in the Psalm Cycle, and thanks for joining me. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I waited patiently for you, my God. You inclined your ear to me and heard my cry. Alleluia. Psalm 40, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, I waited patiently for you, my God. You inclined your ear to me and heard my cry. You drew me from the desolate pit out of the miry bog and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. You put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to you, our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Most High. Happy are they who make God their trust, who do not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after false gods. Many, my God, are your wondrous deeds and your thoughts towards us. None can compare with you. Were I to proclaim and tell of them, they would be more than can be counted. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire. You have opened my ears, burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Here I am. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, my God. Yes, your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. See, I have not restrained my lips, as you know, O Most High. I've not hidden your saving help within my heart. I've declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your mercy and your faithfulness from the great congregation. Do not, O God, withhold your tender mercy from me. Let your steadfast love and your faithfulness keep me safe forever. For evils have encompassed me without number. My iniquities have overtaken me until I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails. Be pleased, O beloved, to deliver me. O Most High, make haste to help me. Let all those be put to shame and confusion who seek to snatch my life away. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha! But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Most High. As for me, I am poor and needy, but you remember me. You are my help and my Savior. Do not delay, O oh my God. Alleluia. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your might. Hear my prayer, O God and give ear to the words of my mouth. For the insolent have risen against me, the ruthless seek my life. They do not set you before themselves. But surely you are my helper, the Most High is the upholder of my life. You will repay my enemies for their evil. In your faithfulness put an end to them. With a free will offering I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O God, for it is good. For you have delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I waited patiently for you, my God. You inclined your ear to me and heard my cry. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 27, beginning at verse 1. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus. In order to bring about his death, they bowed him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. 
He said, I've sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, what is that to us? See to it yourself. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priest, taking the silver, said, It is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since they are blood money. After conferring, they used them to buy the potter's field as a place to bury foreigners. And for this reason, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah, and they took the thirty of pieces of silver, the price of the one on whom a price had been set, on whom some of the people of Israel had set a price, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord commanded me. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. None can be compared to you, O God. Remember your people. Be our help when you hear our cry. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.